Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new episode and welcome my friends to a very exciting video. So in a couple of seconds time, we are about to get ourselves into four different live attacks attacking Town Hall 11 bases. We're going to be using four different one troop armies. So the first attack is going to be all max bowlers, second attack will be all max balloons, third attack will be all max witches and the final attack will be all max dragons. So what we're trying to do in this video, we are pretty much trying to find out which troop inside of the game is currently the most overpowered, the strongest, and we're trying to keep it as fair as possible, guys. So to do that, I have chosen two ground troops, the bowlers and the witches, two air troops, the balloons and the dragons, which in my opinion are the four most powerful troops in the game. So there are only two rules when we're about to get ourselves into this live attack. The first rule is it must be a Town Hall 11 and it must have an eagle artillery of course and the second rule we are not allowed to use any troop except that one troop so for example the first live attack is going to be all max bowlers we are only allowed to fill every single one of the spaces with bowlers guys so 240 spaces filled with 40 bowlers and uh, we're allowed to use any spells so i've chosen a heal two rage a jump a freeze and a poison for the first attack and you can do anything you want with the heroes you can send the heroes in first you can send them in last it is completely up to you so we're about to get ourselves into this first live attack the first troop as i said is going to be the bowlers second one will be the balloons third one will be the witches and the final attack is going to be the dragons so here is what i want you guys to do to join in in the episode Go down below in that comment section and let me know out of all four of these troops, bowlers, balloons, witches and dragons, which one is going to do the most overall damage to a Town Hall 11 base. Now I'm going to surprise everyone here and I'm going to go with balloons. I honestly think that those level 7 balloons will do more damage than every single other troop guys. So let me know the troop you think will do the most down below in that comment section. But for now, let's get ourselves into this first live attack and to keep it as fair as possible, the rule is... We have to attack the first Town Hall 11 base we land on. So let's see what happens, guys. Here we go. Searching for opponents. We are inside of the Titans 1 League. So it really shouldn't take too long to find a base. And boom, we have landed on it. First base. And it's looking pretty scary. But let's see what we can do. So check it out, guys. We actually have a single jump spell. And I'm going to hope to actually try and funnel the troops into the core. Now, the side of the base we're going to attack from is going to be the left-hand side over here. Because the Eagle Artillery... Looks like it could actually possibly benefit me and draw my troops into the base. So we're going to start this off by dropping in four bowlers just to try and pick up some percentage points and also make a little bit of a funnel. Then we're going to go in with the Barbarian King, Archer Queen, Grand Warden and some bowlers just over here to try and funnel this, uh, this Archer Tower on the left hand side. We don't want our troops going over to that side. We actually want them to try and go for the middle guys. So... We got some bowlers working on that side there. They've made a nice little funnel. Barbarian King is actually about to funnel in through the center. Here we go. Now we can send in these bowlers, guys. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to the rest of the base. Here we go. Eagle Artillery is going to be waking up pretty soon. So we're about to pop the Grand Warden's ability. There we go. Grand Warden's ability has just been used. Here goes a heal spell and a poison spell down into the center. There goes the second rage spell, guys. We are looking... Oh, no, I just dropped the free spell by accident. That was a little bit unfortunate. We're going to have to pop the Barbarian King's ability already up to 37%. So these bowlers definitely looking strong in the center. Should be taking a two-star without any issue whatsoever, guys. Here we go. Second Inferno Tower, which I should have actually frozen, is about to drop, guys. So it hasn't really caused too much of an issue. You know what? We're looking pretty damn sweet considering we have used all bowlers and all bowlers only. This has actually been a pretty decent damn attack. Check it out guys, bowlers though starting to get some splash damage done to them. A couple of big bombs went off and took out maybe 10 to 15 bowlers. We got the Archer Queen over on the right hand side, she's just gone down and it looks like the road is about to end. So remember what I said at the start of the episode, the only rule is we have to use that one troop and that one troop only, but we can choose any spells we want. So the Grand Warden is actually still alive, guys, but he's not really going to do too much, so we're actually going to end this battle here, because I don't want to bore you guys. So we look like we are going to be walking away with a total of 62% so far, so it's looking decent. It is definitely looking decent, but now, my friends, it is time for the balloons. So, of course, balloons are an air troop, and I'm going to set the Grand Warden to air because I want him to, you know, back them up a little bit. So, Grand Warden's going to go to air. I've decided to use 11 haste spells. Some of you might think it's a little bit too much, but I think it should work pretty well. 
And uh, we're actually going to gem ourselves the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen who should be going in first. Now remember we have to attack the first Town Hall 11 base we land on. Just before we get ourselves into the attack, let's build our next army which is actually going to be all max witches. So the bowlers guys managed a total of, what was it, I managed a total of 62% so it's looking decent for the bowlers. For the witches we're going to use two jump spells, two rage spells, a free spell and a poison. So that should be the witch army. Let's just get ourselves a screenshot of these uh, these balloons, guys, in case we need it for a thumbnail. Don't forget, we are doing a 1.3 million subscriber giveaway. If you want the chance to win $250, all you need to do is leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, guys. That is all you need to do. Help us reach 1.3 million subscribers. As soon as we do, we are going to give away $250. Don't forget to smash that like button down below. We are going to be attacking the first base we land on, searching for opponents. Shouldn't take too long, let's see what we find. So here we go, check this out guys, we just landed straight on this Town Hall 11 base, and I know I said I was hoping to get more than the, you know, the bowlers with the balloons. I don't know if it's actually possible now, it, it looks a lot more scary than I thought it would, but uh, let's see what happens, you know what? We're gonna have to be brave and actually test for a clan castle straight away guys, just to see if there is one. No there's not, so now we can actually spam in some of these balloons and see if we can get some nice early percentage points guys. So we do have plenty of balloons, there's nothing really to worry about in terms of actually wasting them, that's not really going to be an issue. Still got 39 balloons remaining, and we've already got 9% on, uh, on our actual battle. So um, we're going to see if we can, you know, clear some more of these, and then hopefully we can actually take that Eagle Artillery over on that side using the Hero. So let's see what we can do guys, here we go. Gonna see if we can spam in some of these balloons. We do want to try and get that air defense down as well in a couple of seconds. Can we grab it? Please go for the air defense. They haven't gone for the air defense. That is unfortunate, guys. But here we go, finally arriving on the air defense. And they actually go down a little bit too early. 16% has been secured so far. And I think it's time we move in for the Eagle Artillery. So let's see what we can do against this base. So, 28 balloons remaining. Let's do this guys, we're going to be using the heroes at the end, there go balloons, uh, every single balloon has been dropped in, there goes the Grand Warden, there go three haste spells, let's get this done, Grand Warden's ability used as soon as the, uh, the Eagle Artillery strikes, here we go, balloons are going to take out that first air defense over on the left hand side, there goes haste spells, whoa, check that out, damage coming in from everywhere there, got one haste spell remaining, so those 11 haste spells actually got used pretty damn quickly, here we go, one of the final haste spells is going to go down. Now to try and make this as good as possible, we're going to drop the Barbarian King on the left side. And the Archer Queen is actually going to get dropped over here on the right. Let's see if we can beat 62%. So it's not about the 1 star, it's not about the 2 star. Oh no, a defending Pekka. Check it out guys, level 41 Queen. Level 41 King, sorry, against the Pekka. So we're going to have to use the Barbarian King's ability because he was going to get slaughtered. By the Pekka, so there we go, King's Ability is being used, he's going to clear those buildings up really quickly, and it looks like there's actually potential for the heroes to swing into the center of the base, let's see if we can do it. So here we go guys, the Builder's Heart's going to get taken out, now the Queen and the Barbarian King are going to, yeah, work on two individual walls, that was always going to happen, always going to happen, so 49% so far, we're definitely going to be getting a 1 star, heroes break through the walls at the exact same time, there goes the hero stand, Queen has got us that one star so far. It looks like the Barbarian King is actually going to be going really close towards that Inferno Tower. And it doesn't look like we're going to be getting a two star, guys. Unfortunately, it looks like the balloons are going to be leaving on 53, 54%. So it looks like I was wrong. And the bowlers are currently in the lead, guys, with 62%. So bowlers got 62%. Hero, sorry, not hero. Uh, the, the balloons are walking away with a total of... 58% damage on the base. Still pretty good. It was close, but not close enough. So let's go in for the third troop, which is actually going to be the witches. So let's go ahead and gem the witches. We're going to gem the spells. We're also going to gem the heroes, and we're going to get ourselves straight into this third live attack. Then it's going to be the final one, which is going to go back to the uh, the dragons, the air troop. So here we go. Grand Warden is going to get set back to ground, and we're going to make our next army which is of course going to be 12 level 6 dragons, should be cool. And we're actually going to use one free spell, all poison, sorry, all uh, all rage spells and a single haste spell for them. And uh, we're ready to go, so let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can do a decent job. 
So remember the only rule, we attack the first Town Hall 11 and this is it. Okay, so we have, it's, um, I don't know if I like it, I don't know if I dislike it. So let's just see what we can actually do here. So, I think the first thing we're going to need to do is actually possibly sacrifice a witch or two. What side should we attack from? You know what guys, we're going to be... We're going to kind of have to take on this Eagle Artillery pretty much sooner rather than later. So we may as well just go for it really early. So I don't know if this is going to work, guys. But we're going to do a double jump and see what happens. So there goes the Barbarian King, Grand Warden, two Witches that side. Actually, we're going to do three Witches each side. And the rest of the Witches are going to go down the center. So remember, this is a total of 20 Witches which are spawning into a base. Not going to put the Grand Warden's ability just yet. We want to try and save that possibly for a big bomb, guys. Here we go. The Witches don't really seem to be jumping into the center. There goes the Barbarian King's ability. We're going to put the Grand Warden's ability as soon as this next Eagle Artillery comes down. Oh, no, it's actually been taken out. I completely forgot. So we got the, uh, where's the Archer Queen? We got the Archer King and the Barbarian actually swinging around that side over there. We're going to put the Grand Warden's ability. Here we go. There goes a Rage Spell, guys. Some of these Witches and these uh, these actual Skeletons running around the base there. There goes the Free Spell. We just missed the Inferno. Sorry, the, uh, the Wizard Tail. That was unfortunate. And we also missed the Queen's ability. But wow, we're already up to 53%. This is surprising. And we've got some Skeletons on the Town Hall. I don't think we're actually going to get the Town Hall. However, you never know, guys. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a close one. The Witches are going to do it. Oh, my. This is so surprising. I did not expect these witches to actually take a two star on a Town Hall 11 base. Yet, yeah, we're actually in the lead now. We've overtaken the bowlers. I did know the witches got a buff, guys, but oh my. Check out how many witches we've got left over here. Bear in mind, we actually missed the, uh, the Archer Queen's ability. And on top of that, we didn't really funnel great. So this is actually really surprising. Maybe these witches are a lot more overpowered than I initially thought. Whoever gets witches down below in that comment section, it looks like you are going to be correct. Unless the dragons can do more than this, it looks like we're going to be walking away with a total of about 80% damage, which is huge. You know what? I'm not even I'm not even just saying this, guys. There's actually or was a potential of a three star here if I pop the queen's ability. I'm not sure if there is going to be a three star on the base. If there is, we pretty much need to take out these cannons as quickly as we can because they are really the only thing causing a little bit of a threat here. However... All the cannons seem to be going down pretty quickly and we've still got 40 seconds left inside of the battle and we're up to 85% so far. If we 3 star here, this is going to be the most surprising attack I have ever done in my life, guys. Check it out. There's a single target Inferno Tower over there. 30 seconds remaining. 10%, less than 10% left to clear. These witches are doing it. Wow. This is literally insane, guys. Check it out. A big bomb goes off but doesn't actually manage to take out any of my uh, my witches there i don't believe so there's only two percent left it's gonna be an inferno tower but unfortunately it's on max hit points and we're not gonna do it five four five seconds remaining look how close this was 15 more seconds 10 more seconds and the skeletons would have taken it out a 99 percent two star that is almost unbeatable so it's time to get ourselves into one final live attack, guys. Here we go. It is going to be those dragons. So I completely forgot to get a screenshot for the um, for the witches. So we're going to have to grab a screenshot for the dragons instead. So here we go. And there we go. We got the screenshot. We're going to send the, uh, the Grand Warden back to where. And we are also going to gem the Archer Queen. And of course, that Barbarian King. Oh, we have no gems. No gems. So there we go, guys. I only had 99 cent of, uh, of credit in my wallet and we've got ourselves 80 gems and we're pretty much going to spend the whole 99 cent just gemming up the heroes. So sad times, sad times for Tony. But here we go. Final troop. Dragon. Let's do this. Spells are ready. Troops are ready. Heroes are ready. First Town Hall 11 we come across, we have to attack. And I'm hoping we can get a three star. If not, the witches are going to take it and it looks like the dragons could possibly come in second. Bowlers, of course, will be coming in third. And my guess is the balloons, which I actually guessed to come in first, are going to be coming last. So that's a little bit sad. But here we go. Two single target Inferno Towers. I don't really think it's a good thing. It, I'm not really sure. We're going to be attacking from this side over here, guys, because there are no air sweepers. And let's just do this. Let's see if we can get a decent funnel. So here we go. Going to keep the heroes for right at the end. There go the dragons. There goes the Grand Warden. 
There goes the two rage spells really early. And uh, we're also going to put the Grand Warden's ability really early. Just to try and get as many of these uh, dragons into the center. There goes the free spell onto the Eagle Artillery. And of course the, uh, the single target Inferno Tower. Single target Inferno Tower looks like it's going to be a little bit of an issue. Second rage spell and final rage spell actually goes down into the center. Town Hall should definitely fall here. We have plenty of dragons in the core. It's just going to come down to the fact that we weren't able to take out the Eagle Artillery. No way! Look at that, guys. Heroes are going to need to go in. This is going to be drastic measures. Can we actually take out this base? Once again, the heroes go for completely opposite walls. So it looks like the uh, the dragons could actually be coming in last here. And the, uh, the All Max Balloon Army has actually done more damage. Thing that though, it looks like we will definitely be getting a two-star, I would like to think. So the Queen's going to take out the Town Hall. She's going to swing over to the right-hand side. She's going to take out the Dark Elixir. Barbarian King is holding off the... Uh... Oh no, he's just been targeted by the single target. Inferno Tower, that is the worst thing that could have happened. There goes the Queen's ability. Can we grab a two-star? We're so close, guys. No, no, no. Nope, just didn't want to happen. And that, my friends, is where the episode is going to end. So stay tuned. There will be another one coming in a couple of hours' time. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I will see you very shortly, guys. Peace out.